Sasha here for NetworkNews.com. We are still at the IFA in Berlin and at the Sony booth. And guess what is uh, behind my NC10 that you've already seen on a couple of videos. Still my working house every day. Uh, that's the new Sony Vio uh, X series. And it's not only one, but uh, I think we have two models over here. So uh, let's get rid of this very thick network over here and take a look at these two fellas. Um, that's a new Sony super thin, yeah. whether it's a netbook, whether it's a sub notebook, I don't even know how to define it. Because um, I always thought that a MacBook Air is a thin system, but uh, what Sony is just bringing onto the market is amazing. And by the way, for the first time we can see two different versions of it. Um, the one comes with a non-glossy finish on the lid, so that's not a fingerprint magnet at all. The other one comes with a kind of sparkling and um, uh, glossy finish. Um, this should Anyway, it's meant to be, I think, for the Asia or even the North American markets. But this looks very much for the European markets, as we know. You know, Europeans are uh, kind of aware of this um, that they want to have non-glossy finish and non-glossy displays. So even though that Nicole already did her hands on during the Sony press conference three or four days ago, uh, let's let me give you my personal impression on the device. Uh, and let's take a quick look around the system itself. So uh, first of all, we have the LED for the power, a VGA out, an Ethernet connector. You see, I even have to open it. Uh, on the front, we have our, a card reader. And this is uh, something, what is this magic gate stuff? I don't even know this. Uh, the, uh, that's the Sony card. The, oh, that's the Sony, uh, the yeah. Sony memory stick, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, there you go. Um, and on the left side, uh, we have a jack for your headset, two USB 2.0, a uh, Kensington key lock, and a connector for the PSU. While there is not much on the back, let's take a look at the bottom. Uh, huge battery, looks to me like a lithium ion polymer battery because of the thickness and you know, just to keep um, the device uh, very slim, they need to go for polymer over here. I can't tell you anything right now about um, the CPU itself, um, but we're kind of guessing that it might be a new atom, but I think we would be uh, sure IDF is starting in two weeks. Intel is going to announce a lot of new Pine Trail platforms. In my opinion, it would kind of make sense for Sony to have one of the first Pine Trail systems on the market, but they're officially launching this product in October, so let's take a look at this. This is a car, this is a non-glossy display, I would say, right? Is it a glossy? Is it a non-glossy display? Can't even tell. It's, um, it's a non-glossy. Let's say it's a non-glossy display. Yeah, it's non-glossy. But, it's, 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 but still, it's pretty shiny, isn't it, yeah. Nicole? Right for a non-glossy one. And you know, no, I don't have much reflection at all. Super good image quality, bright screen. You see, Nicole is raving into the screen. I can't see myself. Yeah, there you go. Not a mirror at all. Looks very, very good. Um, hey, and by the way, the weight, 700 gram. This this feels like a feather. It's, it, it feels kind of unreal, to, to be honest. Right? And um, keyboard itself, you know, this is, I think, one of uh, Sony's specials, like having this Schicklet keyboard, right? And uh, nothing is bending over here. The build quality is just amazing. This is a, this is a piece of art, in my opinion. Um, trackpad at a reasonable size. I love that they have uh, two single mouse buttons on it. And over here we have another little uh, switch to turn off the wireless, especially when you're jumping on a plane, right? You're not allowed to use your wireless card. You don't even have to use a function key combination, you're just switching it off and on over there. And yeah, um, I would say, oh, let's say I would guess, should be an SSD device um, with maybe 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte SSD in there, maybe two gigabytes of RAM. It's once already on Windows 7. And uh, I can't tell you if this is, this won't be the starter edition, so they are not limited to one gigabyte, so it might come with two gigabyte. And yeah, SSD, it won't be so inexpensive, but in my opinion, this is also not the market where I can see Sony. Sony needs to go for build quality, needs to go for unique products, and I guess that's what they're doing with the Sony Vio uh, X-Series.
So this is Sasha from NetbookNews.com during the EFA 2009 in Berlin and this is the goddamn appealing, good looking Sony Vario X series.